Shalom, shalom everyone and welcome to 50 Days of Empowerment. This video is being pre-recorded and pre-produced for use on day 35 to allow our production staff to rest on the Sabbath. Today is a part two of what we introduced yesterday when we talked about 10 verses in the Good News account of Yohanan or John that uses personal pronouns like he and him to describe the set-apart spirit of Yah and how using those personal pronouns can cause a lot of confusion. And so what we've discovered is the personal pronouns of he and him can also be translated as it. When you look at the Greek word, the Greek word that is used in the verse the translators can choose between he or it, or him or it. Also, the word whom can be translated as which. It's the same Greek word. And so today we're going to read a few more verses in the Good News account of John pertaining to the Spirit, and we're going to make those alterations. We're not going to use the personal pronouns, but we're going to use it, and we're going to use which. And I want you to see how it makes really, really wonderful sense and dispels all of the confusion. All right, John chapter 16, beginning with verse 12. We're going to read verses 12 through 15. This is Yeshua speaking. He said, I still have many words to say to you, but you are not able to bear them now. But when it comes... The it here is the spirit of Yah, Yah's breath, Yah's wind. When it comes, the spirit of the truth. The word spirit means a current of air, a wind, a breath. But when it comes, the wind of the truth, it shall guide you into all the truth. So the wind or the breath of Yah is going to be the mechanism by which Yah guides the believer in to all the truth. It goes on to say, this is Yeshua speaking, for it shall not speak from itself. So the wind of Yah is not going to speak from itself. The wind of Yah is not its own personality. The wind of Yah is not going to speak of its own will, but instead is the mechanism or the conduit that Yah uses to communicate to the believer. For it shall not speak from itself, but whatever it hears, it shall speak, and it shall announce to you what is to come. So the breath of the wind of Yah is only going to hear what Yah says. And what Yah says is going to pass through the conduit of His Spirit to believers. And believers are also going to receive from Yah information about what is to come. Verse 14, It shall esteem me, for it shall take of what is mine and announce it to you. So the wind of Yah, the breath of Yah, is going to take from what Yeshua has received. Well, Yeshua received from Yah by the Spirit of Yah. He received the information of Yah, the communication of Yah, the revelation of Yah, by the Spirit of Yah. And so the spirit of Yah, the breath of Yah, the wind of Yah, is going to continue to be that conduit to give to us what Yeshua received from Yah by the spirit of Yah. It shall esteem me, for it shall take of what is mine and announce it to you. Verse 15, all that the Father has is mine. All the revelation, all of the information, all of the communication of the Father has come to Yeshua by the Father's Spirit. That is why I said 
that it takes from what is mine and announces it to you. In other words, it continues in its role of being the pipeline of revelation, the pipeline of communication. So the Father spoke to Yeshua through his spirit, through his wind, through his breath. And all that belongs to the Father, Yeshua received. Now Yeshua is saying through the same communication pipeline, the Spirit of Yah, the believer is going to receive what Yeshua received. Hallelujah. And so it makes perfect sense that we're not trying to make the Spirit a separate personality or person, but instead the mechanism through which the Father communicated to Yeshua, and the Father also communicates to us because we receive from Yeshua what Yeshua received from the Father, and it's all by and through the breath or the wind of Yah. Abba, we love you. We're so thankful for your set-apart word. We're so thankful for the clarity that you have brought by your spirit. And we're so thankful that you teach us. You give us information and revelation. You communicate with us through the spirit of Yah, the breath of Yah. And that the spirit of Yah is that conduit through which your communication, your information, your revelation comes to us. All that you gave to Yeshua by your spirit, we also receive by your spirit. Fill us and refill us. Empower us beyond our own natural limitation. Give us a bold, worry-free witness. And we thank you that you use us in these days to proclaim the good news of Yeshua throughout all the world. In the matchless name of our Master and Mashiach, Yeshua, Amen and Amen.